Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'd like to welcome you to Let's Play Ghost of a Tale. This game came out in 2018, and it's a third-person stealth game about a brave little mouse sneaking through a castle filled with sinister rats. Pardon me, a heartbeat. Sorry about that. This game likes to reset the frame rate lock to 30 FPS every time I start the program. Fortunately, I can just toggle it back. Now then, before we begin, I'd like to mention that this is going to be a blind LP. I stepped into the very first area in order to get a reading on the frame rate and audio levels, but other than that, everything we're about to see is going to be new to me. I'm going to play the game for the first time ever, and you guys get to come along for the ride. Here's hoping we all enjoy ourselves. I'd also like to give a very special shout-out to Matrix Mod, a burning dog fan who has been watching the channel for years now. And in addition to leaving insightful comments and other observations, he gifted me this game. So thank you, Matrix Mod. I've been looking forward to this one for a while now. This game looks really neat. And I'm glad we get to experience it together. So I hope you enjoy this series, because it's dedicated to you. Without further ado, let's play Ghost of a Tale. Okay. Now, first order of business, I need to draw your attention to something, because... Oh my god, I'm adorable! <laughs> oh, look at its shiny eyes and his little teeth. <laughs> uh, sorry. I'll try not to let that run away with me throughout the entire game. Flowers from Era. Collect roses, one of seventeen. A very specific number. Ow. My last lozenge. And the rapper says, You can do it, and you know it. That is true. You stood before the Baron, your wife Mara, at your side. He bid you play the poisoned cup, and you knew then that this was not for his amusement, but a test. And so play you did, but from Mara there was only silence, and a look of such defiance. He moved to strike her, the Baron, and you cried out and went to her. And then, darkness. How many days have passed since then? In your heart you know she's still alive, and that you'll one day find her. Until then, all you have are these flowers, your memories of her, and a question. Why? Fair enough for pointing it out. Worth a shot. What the hell is that up in the cage? Uh, B is jump. Eh. Hmm. Right O. Ooh. Uh, bumpers. Okay. 
One thing I did note when I was uh, faffing around in here during testing is you can hit the Y button on basically anything get and get a little description of it. Bread made of potatoes and chalk, the poffer's loaf, will leave one's stomach feeling full, whilst providing almost no nutritional value. Hmm. Oh, wait. Apple. Of a variety of apple native to this region. Colorful, tough, and sour, like the farmers that grow it. I think that's another one up in the cage in the corner. Actually, before I eat that... Uh, it was over here... Yes! Ha! An apple core. Which I think also counted... Yes, it's also counted as food. The remains of a sour apple. Brown, yet still edible if you're willing to ignore the bite marks. Yeah, I figured I don't want to use up the bigger one to fill up the last little bit of my health. I've also got some books. Uh, some stuff over here. Which I will get into in just a bit. Because one of the things in particular drew my attention. Um, yeah. Minstrel wrote bell to your humble minstrel's hood. But more importantly, here's a mysterious message. Meet me at the top of the watchtower. Cover your tracks and move unseen. S. I did notice this. Uh, this has no description. Reminds me of the old point-and-click adventure games where a lot of items just had generic, like, one-liners. Written for, like, if we don't have an actual, you know, examine description. I remember this one guy in, uh, Day of the Tentacle just says, Bitchin', if you look at anything that doesn't have the, uh, its own description. But, uh... Do I still have the cell key? I do. A memento. And, uh, full disclosure, I did get one achievement just for walking out here. Uh, yeah, there it is. Uh, Unbound. Escape from Tylo's cell. So, yes! I believe that this is Tylo, and he's looking for his wife, Mara. Now, oh, yes. Name, Tylo. Profession, minstrel. Offenses, acts of sedition. It might be Tylo, admittedly, but, uh... I don't think there's any voice acting in this game. I want that apple. Ugh. I'll accept those mushrooms instead. Hmm. Anything else I missed in here? Okay. I just want to see what animation he does for this. Oh, no, he did stick his hand in it. Mmm, no, no, no. Not the chamber pot. Yes, please, I'll take all of this. Uh, another hood, some candles, florins, and a fire steel, which looks like a flint and tinder from Minecraft. The screaming door key. Oh. You've attracted a guard's attention. Quick, go to the chest and hold right trigger and A to hide. Don't forget you can hide in many different places. Alright, if I see any ellipses, I'll be sure to hide in them. Uh, yeah, okay, okay. Ooh. You are way bigger than I am. I just realized I forgot to close the door to my cell, and he does not care. <laughs> hmm, quick save. And A to get out. Okay. Is that another flower up there? Uh, some of the other stuff I've got with me... Yeah, loot. Your loot, the tool of your craft and one of your most prized possessions. It was carved by your master's master from driftwood, gathered along the shores of Lake Valia. I get the impression there's going to be a lot of lore in this game. Also, if I hit use in this thing, nothing happens. But I think there is an achievement for playing every song in the game. So there apparently is a way to do that, I just don't know what it is. Red Rose. The rose's scent reminds you of Mara's grace. Its thorns, however, remind you of her wit. 
This candle is made from beeswax, taken from the brood comb of the hive and full of impurities. Oh, and one thing I thought was interesting, you have to hit Y to close this and go back out to the inventory menu, because if you don't, if you hit B, it just closes the menu entirely. Alright, fuck this room. Okay. Also adorable. I think up in the corner there, in jail, is, uh... I think the stamina bar superimposes over the health bar. And going by one of the loading screens I saw in testing, I don't actually remember exactly what it said, but I got the impression that your max stamina is equal at any given time to your current health. A sturdy branch, well crap balanced for throwing, breaks with a sharp crack. Oops, I touched the keyboard. Uh, can be used to create a distraction or to dislodge an item from its perch. Throw. Why to throw? Cycle through. Okay. No, I do have other tools like the uh, flint and tinder. But for now, I'll just put that away. Ew. Yeah, that sounds like a distraction, all right. Watch them be poisonous. Mocking cat mushrooms are edible from mice, but can have a powerful, hysterical effect on other creatures. Wonder if that means it makes it makes, sends them into a state of hysteria, or if mice just find it hysterically funny. Grain. For mice, grain is measured in sacks and rascals. The amount of grain represented by a sack should be self-evident. A rascal is the amount of grain a mouse can cram into their mouth whilst still being able to run 200 yards without pausing for breath. I don't think I could run 200 yards without pausing for breath, period. Sackcloth hood. A simple hessian hood worn by all young mice on the road to Pisa. No mouse would willingly remove their hood. How many other journeys have ended here? Huh. Also noted by that thing off in the corner, off the side, I should say. It seems to be uh, inferior to the one I've got on in every conceivable way. You made the minstrel's hood yourself under the guidance of Master Lulin. It's fastened to the silver button, a gift from Mera. The pattern on its face worn smooth with age. It's said the bell of a minstrel's hood is muted to show that a minstrel understands the importance of silence as much as song. In truth, the sound is extremely annoying, so most minstrels tape the bells clapper out. What the hell? It's still scrolling. I, I kind of want to see if there's like a message at the bottom or something. Can I use the mouse for that? Nope, no hidden message. It's just really, really long for some reason. The belt is a simple length of rope carrying your purse and holding pouch. The, per the pouch, which you bought at a market in Thosa, is curiously capacious, able to contain items far larger than its size should allow. Let me stand under the light over here. Is that it? No, that's gotta be it. In fact, if I pull that stick, yep, he reaches into that. Sounds like I've got myself a bag of holding. Oh yeah, that is a bell on the end. It's not me jingling. It's gotta be... You? Yeah, there's a person in here, okay. In chains. Wow, you are quite the sight. Old pirate frog. Okay, yeah, I could've guessed that. <sighs> Ferret's balls! What do you think you're doing, Mousy? Barging into my cell uninvited. Do you know who I am? <laughs> Ferrets are renowned for their wedding festivities, which involve magnificent balls, often danced at a breakneck pace. Carol Red Whiskers! That's it! Carol Red Whiskers, at least I was, navigator of the Lake Witch, under Captain Otto Powder Keg. A stocky barrel of a rat with a short fuse, Captain Otto Powderkeg was captain of the Lake Witch, 
a galleon that for more than a dozen years terrorized the merchant ships that ferry goods between the five great ports of Lake Valia. How big is this lake? It's said that he'd wax his tail and set it alight before going into battle, and it was this that gave him his name. Captain Powderkeg gained notoriety for his crimes and fame from the handsome wanted poster, which he himself had printed up and distributed in order to bolster his renown. The captain was finally captured when his ship wrecked against submerged rocks just off the eastern shores of Lake Valia, near Dwindling Heights Keep. The cause of the wreck was never established and will likely remain a mystery, for once the doors of Dwindling Heights closed behind him, the captain was never heard of again. Grunt, a word too rude to define. <laughs> okay. Well, that's very rude. And racist. Or... Speciesist. Fair. Why would I want to be free? Being free is what got me put in here in the first place! Well, that and the piracy thing. I choose to believe he's talking about the wooden thing he's sitting on and not, um, the other thing. Completely out of his mind, isn't he? Oh, jeez. Whenever I play a stealth game, my first thought is whether or not it has, like, a clean hands thing for not killing anyone. I don't even know if there's combat in this game or not. Oh, okay. That's much more agreeable. Rotgut, an alcohol made from putrescent oleander wood, and something of an acquired taste. Coincidentally, taste is the first of the five senses to be ruined by Rotgut's consumption. Ferret's balls. I get the, <laughs> I get the distinct impression I'm gonna like the writing in this game. Oh. Oh, that's very helpful, all the cartoon Zeds. Ooh! Uh, hey, how's it going? That was not a conversation. Oh no! Please, it's not in tools. Stout length of oak branch, oak sticks break with a loud, distinctive crack when thrown. When struck together, your flint and fire steel create a bright spark of light, capable of lighting candles and lanterns. So it's, uh, magnesium, then. It's under food. Okay. A yellow bug. Known about these parts as yellers, these bugs are fairly common and rather tasty. I was wondering if this is going to be, like, a red wall thing, or my character here is actually, like, the actual size of a mouse, and this building is built to scale. But then I suppose the apples wouldn't be the right size, would they? Oh, right, yeah, okay. Ooh. I don't know what that means, but I don't like the look of it. Try sneaking to move more quietly, hold right trigger to sneak. Okay. Yoink! looting this place. Fuck me, he's big compared to me. Ah, here we go. Your 
only heard, move slowly to make less noise. You're being seen, typo, be quickly break the light of sight. What's the difference? Oh, the diamonds around the outside, okay. Okay, this is not it. An empty wine bottle, hefty enough to knock out any guard without a helmet if thrown with precision. Can be used to create a distraction, or dislodge an item from its perch. I'll just put that away. Can I get these ones too? Yep. Just, uh, stay relaxed, my good dude. Maybe you can sit in here. The screaming door. Okay. Last time I opened a lo I tried to open a locked door, it got his attention, so let's not do that. Ah, here we go. Yeah, that's not a great idea. Almost fucking touched his leg there, buddy. Oh boy. I mean, he's not as intimidating as, say, Tommy. That weapon is about three times longer than my entire body. Ooh. Hmm. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Well, there's the timer. Now there's something interesting in there. Oh, this is not good hiding. You're all visible and animated and such. I'll just sneak back down the hallway. I'll just pretend he didn't notice earlier, and uh, there we go. Will this wake him up? No! Okay, cool. Ooh, I didn't even see that. It's dark in here. I probably don't need to sneak that far away from the guy. Hello! I should probably do that next time. Okay, it hasn't been the most eventful first episode, but, uh,. Oh, and let me show you the other thing I saw during testing, which was to go down here and learn that it's really dark. I think that's a door at the end there, but I can't actually interact with it. I wonder if that's just because I can't see it. We'll find out. We'll find out a lot of things as we continue. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you in the next episode of Let's Play Ghost of a Tale, when we continue exploring this prison and try to find our way to freedom without getting caught. And then we can see about rescuing uh, poor Mara from whatever predicament she's gotten into. Later!